Hey, y'all. Hope y'all are having a great day or had a great day. Whew, almost making it to Friday. So I was tired, but, uh, you know, when spirits say you got to move, you got to move. So uh, the one thing that I want to share uh, with everyone today is something that I feel like we need to know. And I'm going to take it from two different from two different perspectives here. But, um, you know, I've heard, you know, folks, especially, you know, uh, from different religious persuasions say that, oh, you shouldn't use incense and this, that and the other. And I'm like, what Bible are they reading from? Don't the, they know that the Bible is full of, of scripture? about using incense and why it's important to do so, right? And so, sorry guys, my hair is messed up from the gym. And so I want to make this conversation briefly about burning incense and why it's important. Now, first of all, you need to understand that if you want to take it from a biblical perspective, there's like 20, I think it's like, what, 24 some odd scriptures about burning incense, right? And why it's important. But yet it's us. The guy that said, oh, you better not do that. That's not. No, yes, you do. Yes, you do. The best thing you could ever do when you're setting intentions, which is also praying. When you are praying, you are setting intentions. You are speaking intentions and asking for things into the ethos, to the atmosphere, up to spirit or whoever you pray to. So. When you do that and you've got incense burning, smoke, and you're speaking over that, and that that scent is rising up to the heavens, to spirit. And what did the Bible always say? That God always enjoyed the good smell of an incense and a good smell of a good sacrifice. <laughs> Let me read you something, and I'm going to help you out with this, right? This is one of my favorite scriptures about incense. Exodus 30, 7 and 9. There's like 20 of them. There's one in Chronicles. But this is the one that my, my beautiful auntie brought to my attention. I've held on to. And I start with this with people. Aaron shall burn fragrant incense on it. He shall burn it every morning when he trims the lamps. And when Aaron trims the lamp, At twilight, he shall burn incense. There shall be perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall not offer any strange incense on this altar or burnt offering or meal offering. You shall not pour out a drink offering on it. So it was giving specific instruction about incense and how to use it when you pray when you set your intentions it doesn't hurt for you to put a little incense out to make your words fall sweeter on the ears of spirit and who you pray to and it says in the biblical text text for those who are who follow the christian religion and dogma that aaron said that this should be done perpetually throughout the generations or the the spoken or the word says there to be done perpetually. That means forever and ever and ever through the generations. So if you are not burning incense, you are missing out. Burn that incense, find you a good incense and start start speaking over that incense. Start start putting your intentions out over that incense and let that scent rise up to the heavens and rise up to the ethos and to our ancestors and let let those words lay on that smoke while it rises. Okay? So that's what I want to share with you. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have any business burning incense. You absolutely do and you absolutely should. Have a good day.